Michi. Tonk. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Come and sit down with me. Now, the story I'm going to tell you is almost lost to the wind. But it blew back and I'm going to share it with you here tonight. The legend of the bionic bannock boy. Our young hero was a strappingly handsome young buck. Not anything like me, cha. That goes by the name of Frank. So Frank's cookum was known to have the best bannock in the entire reserve, eh? And Frank's mom was having people over that night but needed cookum's bannock. So she sent Frank order. Order. What the? Go get that bannock order. Go get cookum's bannock. So off Frank went, eh? He's running down the road. He's running and it's getting a little dark and he decides to make the fateful decision to enter the enchanted forest. So he's in there, he's running, he's dodging things left and right, he's running around, he doesn't know what's happening, and he starts to have an asthma attack, and he's on chief and council. <sighs> Fear gripped his heart. And that's when he sees it. The lights and the thunderous flying disc. Hold left, top way. Now the way the story was told to me is this is about the time that he blacked out. Top way, we all know the feeling, he blacked out. One thing he is sure of though is uh, there was some uh, non-consensual probing. <coughs> Top way, non-consensual probing. Frank lays beside the trail disoriented and a little sore. When his bros, Sam and Joseph, just happened to be walking by, they're talking about snagging at the bingo last night. Wah, wah. How soon they smell it? There's this funk in here. They smell this funk. This smells funky like Nietzsche funk. And they see Frank laying there. They immediately realize that Frank has made it through an experience no other Indian has ever been through before. The lights and the thunderous flying disc getting probed from the unwelcome visitors from beyond. They decide he must be rebuilt into the first ever Indian superhero. Top way. They rushed him to the pawn shop where they found everything needed to create an Indian superhero. A tomahawk, a trout, an eight track tape, a cell phone, and with the ingenuity of Ernest Mooney ass, they created the Bionic Bannock Boy. Now when there's a number that needs dabbing, he'll be there. Whenever there's a bannock that needs jam, he'll be there. Whenever there's a snag that needs snagging, okay, all day, every day, my niches, he'll be there. Me was sin. <laughs> For our youth and elders alike, he's my Nietzsche, he's your Nietzsche, he's everybody's Nietzsche, from now to eternity, the Bionic Bannock Boy. Yeah. It's okay, it's alright, what's your number baby, I think I'm Nietzsche tonight.